Hey guys, welcome back to Indoor Reef. This week is set to be an absolute scorcher temperature wise, so let's take a look at some tips for keeping your reef aquarium cool. If you're watching this at the point in time that it was released, you'll know that all over the news in the UK there have been uh, warnings about absolute record temperatures. Now, for any of you outside the UK, this is probably not going to sound very hot, but they're saying it might reach um, 40 degrees in certain parts of the UK this week, and that will be the hottest uh, temperatures ever recorded. I think the current one is around 38 degrees, maybe, somewhere in Cambridgeshire a few years ago. Anyway, the point is the UK, uh, people in the UK are generally not well equipped for these kind of temperatures. Um, you know, we don't get them very often. They're saying this 40 degrees, if it happens, is like one in a 300 year event. So besides all the kind of warnings about travel and everything, what we're interested in right here is our reef tank. Temperature is one of the most critical um, parameters in our reef aquariums. So um, when we hear that it's gonna get really, really hot like this, um, it's quite worrying. Let's have a look at some of the things you can do to keep your tank cool and also some of the things that might not work as well as you first thought. Okay, so the first thing you can do to help to keep your tank cool is to do with evaporative cooling. So what this uh, means is we can cool the tank by causing more water to evaporate. So one of the best ways to do this is by creating a lot of surface movement. Um, so this can be done by blowing fans along the top or um, just by pointing your power heads up at the surface. So actually, I think um, keeping your power heads disturbing the surface a lot is a really good thing to do all the time because it keeps a lot of that good gas exchange. Um, but it's super important um, when it gets really hot like this and it can have quite a big cooling impact on your tank. Some people actually add fans to blow water across the top of the tank. Now this can be really um, helpful but you know for me I already find I've got loads of um, surface movement there so I'm not sure I would get that much extra benefit from this. To go with this leaving the cabinet doors open can help because it helps the airflow get in around the sump and um, lets any heat dissipate because you know sometimes we do have lights in there and we've got a lot of equipment so which all generates heat as well. Now on to another method that you might have thought of trying. So one of the first things that came to my mind was um, freeze a bottle of RO water or something um, in, in the freezer and then drop it in the sump. And hopefully then the, as the ice melts, it's gonna absorb the heat from the tank and cool it. So this all sounds great, right? And the reason I suggest RO water is just because if it leaks then, um, you know, you're not putting kind of two liters of tap water into your tank, um, probably not that bad, but rather not I mean I don't really want two litres of RO water in my tank to be honest but anyway so the reason I say this is not very good if you actually try and calculate how much temperature um, that'll take out of the tank it's not actually as much as you might expect or at least it wasn't as much as I expected so I didn't work it out myself I trusted one of the calculators online and I inputted my tank water volume of 270 litres and I thought what kind of size um, frozen water bottle could I realistically float and I thought well okay uh, two, two litres so I worked out if I froze um, uh, uh, this water down in the bottle to minus 15 and um, placed it in the tank um, and let it melt uh, what would be the, the saving and essential actually what surprised me you only get a one degree reduction so I'm not saying that this method won't work you know theory you could keep taking it down a degree and putting another bottle in so what I'd say is I think if you've tried the other things and you're still stuck then this might be an approach you could use but I actually decided not to go with this um, not certainly as a first approach just because I don't think it gives me quite as much as I might have initially expected. If you have tried using um, ice to cool your tank before then please do leave a comment and let me know and tell me how it worked for you I'm, I'm really keen to know. Okay so the next one is a chiller now these are something that I'm not particularly familiar with because Let's be honest, in the UK we're normally worried about trying to keep our tanks warm enough, not trying to keep them cool. Um, I know they're much more common in other parts of the world, maybe like Australia. So the way these work is they take water out of your tank, run it through the chiller unit, and then return it back to the tank cooler, um, and it pumps the heat out into the space where the chiller is located. So 
I always think this doesn't seem to make much sense if you're chillers in the same room because you're going to kind of pump the heat out of the tank into the room which is then going to kind of warm the tank back up. Um, I guess it's maybe like an aircon unit where if you have them installed permanently or something you kind of pump the heat outside, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure but yeah. The thing with these is they're quite expensive and they're only ever going to be used for cooling the tank and they also take up quite a bit of space so again for me I don't kind of feel like too keen to want to go out and buy one of these things knowing um, I'm only going to maybe need it you know once a year or if if the Met Office are right like once in 300 years but anyway. Okay now on to a really really easy one so everyone can do this so I'm guessing most of us have got windows um, in the room where our tanks stored so what you can do here um, and what I this is kind of my go-to approach actually um, when it's just a bit of a warm day uh, is to uh, shut the curtains and or at least shut the blinds because what this means is it kind of keeps all of that sort of solar gain from heating up the room now this only works when the sun is kind of really beating down on it if it's um, cooler outside than it is in the room then I would actually suggest opening the window but you do reach a point in the day where when it gets hotter outside than it is inside then you're actually better shutting the windows because otherwise you're just kind of letting warm air in. So, okay so on to the final thing um, and the way I'll actually be keeping my tank cool during this um, heat wave is to be using a portable air conditioning unit so I'm conscious this is probably something not many um, people are going to have I was very fortunate that um, my family had one, a really old one now, almost 30 years old actually so I'm really grateful it still works and definitely that they've loaned me it but um, this is a really good way to keep your tank cool and the benefit is as well it's not just like the chiller that you can only use on the tank it's also really good for you know keeping you and your family comfortable now the downside like the chiller these things use quite a bit of energy so you know there is a cost to run it but I think compared to the money we kind of spend on these tanks um, yeah I think the energy cost is probably um, acceptable to most people yeah so what I'll be doing this week is um, starting with the keeping the windows open when it's cooler outside than inside and then I will um, shut the curtains at you know the hotter parts of the day and then um, if it continues to get hot I'll then start to use the air conditioning unit um, it's really noisy and you know there might be somebody working in here for parts of the day so but you know you've got to keep the tank good so I hope this has been helpful for you. If you're in the UK, good luck this week. I hope it doesn't get as hot as they say it's going to. Um, let's wait and see. Um, I'll give a bit of an update um, later in the week about how my um, tanks got on. Let me know how yours gets on in the comments and see you next time. So until next time on Indoor Reef, keep it stable, keep it fun and keep reefing.